the create task sorry catalog task activity generate a record on sc underscore task table okay what about create task okay so create task will go and create a record on which table task table okay so what is task table for us it is a parent table Oh, it's a parent table correct so now here this is limited that's it sc underscore task no need to task no need to think about anything okay but here when it is task table task is not actually the task okay so what does it mean is what is the meaning of my statement is this is the meaning of my statement task is not the actual task table okay task is the table okay where it is the combination of all the tables of task family is that right statement when i say task table it's a combination of task table plus all its children's task table family table is that correct ma yeah. everyone is that correct That's what we seen it, right? Yes, we are seeing the second way of creating table. Watch. Yes. So now, here keep this point in mind. If you go to create task, now just drag the create task activity. Okay. Now you see what options you get it. First of all. Okay. So you get if you, if I just leave it like this. Okay. Assignment group short description. It generates a task record. Simple task. Which is pointing to task table, PASK task table. Okay, okay. But if I give, okay, here task type equal to incident, then I can create incident also. If I give change, I can create a change also. If I create a problem, I can create a problem also. That means all task based family, all task family based. The cards you can create it here. You can see all the child tables of task. You can select any one and then you can create it. Okay, using create task activity. You got it now? Yes. Everyone. Uh, Sh Shridhar, can you can you please give some practical scenario? Just theoretically, uh, how so could this be leveraged? Yeah. Uh, game is simple. Okay, so see here we are creating a task here. Okay. After the task is completed, I want to create an incident. Can I able to create an incident from workflow? First question. Generally, this question also people will ask. Can I create a change request from incident? Can I create an incident from incident? Can I sorry from workflow? Can I create a problem from workflow? The answer is yes. How? Using create task activity. So take the create task activity. Now, I am creating an incident here. Okay. Just see like this. Yesterday, someone asked one requirement. Okay, just give me one more second. Uh, catalog task. Okay. I want to frame an actual scenario, which helps to understand a little deeper. Very good. Very, very good. So, 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 how to get all states only, all English only, how many, one, part eight, where is task, SC underscore task. RTM, okay. I want those back end values, mother, that's it. Change task. Mm -hmm. There are nothing with this here. Very good. Very good. So service task. Okay, game. It's okay. No problem. I can pick it from a different way. Anyone know why we are not able to see those values? State one. Okay, good. So now why we are not able to see 
the list here only for uh, sc underscore task here hmm? oh, it's complete Let's skip closed in complete so three and four keep this two more okay three and four important okay now good Okay, so I will take this one. Yeah, this one I want it. So I will take always as complete. I think this is the question which someone asked yesterday, correct? Yes, I know. So three for closed complete, correct? Yes. The backend value of size 3 is for closed complete. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. So update it. So here, closed incomplete. I need to test it properly. Okay, but let's test it. 4. So if they closed the task, maybe with closed incomplete, then I need to create its incident here to check it. Is that a real a good example? If it is closed, closed. If it is not closed, means closed incomplete of the task, then I need to create an incident. Yes? Yes. Why they closed incomplete? I want to know it and then fix it. Okay. So I will create an incident here. So I will take here incident. By the way, the Conditions what I did you understood ma? What I did there you understood activity dot results equal to three. I will show you. Maybe I will show you. Just give me a second, okay? So incident create a service desk. Okay. And verify the uh, task incompleteness. Good. Submit it. Okay, so like this I will do. Okay, so first of all, what I did here, this is a condition. So, so see here, if you see this one, you may get confused, but if you see this one, approved, right, and rejected, how it is taking approved value when you say approved, then how the link is passing from here. Okay, because here activity dot results equal to you write the value of the approval record if you say approved there it writes this backend value approved if you say rejected there it will write reject what is mean what does it mean okay so see here you get, you went here na? and then you did the approval here so you take this record approval record this underscore approvals dot this approval dot approval table okay so here it is approved now what is the state value that is set now the, what is the backend value of this approval approved the exact word that you see in the workflow this one so this value you are writing here the backend value correct yes yes okay so if it is skipped or if it is approved you are considering as approved let's say the group is not there our group members are not there then it will skip it it doesn't mean like it's a failure rejected okay so it takes like this similarly the task is getting created the task state is either closed complete or closed incomplete that's those are the two we are looking at here maybe you can say closed cancelled also if you say closed cancel closed script if you want to keep them also you can keep it okay so i am keeping that condition here i, I am keeping those conditions here activity dot results okay equal to 4 or 7 or 8 okay if they closed with any one of these cancelled or skipped or incomplete you feel like this one you need to check why they cancel like this
You understood now what I am trying to do? Yes? Everyone yes? You got it my this point everyone? Yes sir. Yes? Yeah. yes sir. So this is how the values will be taken care. So how the workflow is passing to next activity based on the result of that particular activity like this. Okay. Now if he if anyone closes the task not in a proper way not in a complete way so if it is complete it will take this one so it is very much pretty much straight forward complete means three until and unless the backend values are wrong okay if it is three then it will take this one and then take this action so let's test it okay even i am i, I have a doubt on the backend values but let's test it whether they are correct or not okay okay then i am creating an incident how i am creating an incident from create task because task is having a child of incident also so i am taking the help of that okay so i selected the table as incident task type and then i given the uh, short description and description and then we are doing like this correct so see here task type uh, incident table equal to incident and then the group and then this one all good now yes okay now let's test it okay uh, create a ticket try it okay then any conditions we have no conditions let's select anything okay and i'm not giving first level approval so let it skip so that we can save three seconds or five seconds okay focus on the task okay we need to reach the task part why it's created a task mark? group approval huh? okay so it's not having a group approval so i think some okay we selected the other one so group approval also skipped very good for us so right now the task is created now now close the task with incomplete or skipped or cancelled the state okay shall i say incomplete the value for okay let's if the value is correct then the expectation is it should how it should take it should go by this flow and it should create an incident we'll see it ma until and unless the backend values are wrong okay we are good okay now we did it then what happens to the workflow okay this is completed okay okay i didn't i didn't create it didn't create it okay let's see so okay it's created but uh, it didn't report it okay so now you see how it came it took closed incomplete activity dot result equal to the value of incomplete for you took it yes i didn't close the task successfully i closed the task in incomplete right did you all see it how the value of activity result took it here inside it yes or no yeah okay now you you say create incident now nah? now you need to see whether the incident is created or not okay give me a second are we good to check are we are we correctly checking it now this one 71 mm -hmm. so now we should see one incident also no ah, okay now i got it okay so did you see an incident is created with the same values what we kept it service test group where is the group assignment group you all seen it service test group and short description both we written correctly those two came did you all notice it ma yeah see here these are the two things which we kept it inside right everyone yes yes yes, yes. now now we understood what is a create task what is catalog task what is the difference between these two which is very 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 important in the question yes and also we understood how you create the conditions here okay based on the value that you are picking up from the activity activity dot results equal to the back end value of the particular one you got it now yes, yes okay so this particular question is very important ma what is the difference between catalog task and create task very very important this can be asked this way or this can be asked in a different way okay the different way is uh, okay 
can you able to create an incident can you able to create a change can you able to create a problem something like this they will ask okay so either way answer is same you need to understand the question catch it and then answer it if you don't understand the question you can't answer it okay 